Okay, since meron na tayong background about the basic properties of a standard normal distribution curve, now let's talk about the process of finding the areas under the standard normal distribution curve. And take note, I presented here several examples or different cases okay, na po pwede nyo matutunan sa video na ito. Let me present to you the Z-table na gagamitin natin. And take note, ang Z-table ay merong cumulative. Okay, so may ibang klase pa ng table na po pwedeng gamitin. But in this lesson, ito yung gusto kong gamitin natin because I think ito yung mas madaling maintindihan. So as you can see, meron tayo ditong normal distribution curve. And take note that the entries in the table give the area under the curve between the mean and the standard deviations above the mean. So when we say above the mean, ito yung nasa right part. Okay, remember, ito yung mean natin, 0. So, pag sinabing above the mean, nasa right part yung tinutukoy. Kapag below the mean, yung nasa left part. And take note that since this is a normal distribution curve, okay, symmetric ito. Ibig sabihin, kung ano yung area dito sa right part or yung above the mean, same lang yon sa area na nasa left part or below the mean. Okay, so take note, ha? So, from 0... To a certain standard deviation, yun yung area na gagamitin natin. For example, let's say, find the area under the standard normal distribution curve between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1.77. So, the first thing that we have to do is to, of course, graph the curve para mas ma-visualize. Take note, this is the mean which is 0. And this is the standard deviation or simply the z-score natin na 1.77. Okay, so ito yung area na gusto natin kunin. Now, by looking at the table, pwede natin makuha itong area na to by simply looking at 1.7 and of course 0.07. And then yung intersection nila, yun na yung area ng curve. Okay, area under the standard normal distribution curve na nasa pagitan nitong dalawa. Okay, so the area is now 0 0.4616. Another example, say find the area under the standard normal distribution curve between 0 and negative 1.55. Again, let's grab okay, the curve and then here we have negative 1.55. So, between 0 and negative 1.55, ito yun. So, we can use this table. Okay, tatandaan na, itong table na to is between 0, the mean, 0 to a certain uh, C-score. So, by looking at the table, mapapansin mo, wala dyan ang negative. Of course, kasi nga, ang table na ito is above the mean. But we can still use this, okay, when we refer to, of course, below the mean, like in this one. So, simply look at 1.55. So, we have here 1.5 and then 0 0.05 and then the area is definitely 0 0.4394. So, that's it. So, that's the area okay, under the standard normal distribution curve. Now, let's take a look at this example because this is a bit different from the previous if you look at this, makikita natin that we are asked to find the area under the standard normal distribution curve to the left of negative 0.75. So, by plotting or by graphing the curve, we see that itong portion na ito yung gusto natin kuhanin, yung area. But kung titignan natin itong standard normal table natin or yung C-table natin, notice that this table allows you to find the area between, okay, between the mean na 0 to a certain standard deviation away from the mean. But technically, mapapansin natin na hindi ganun, no? Hindi siya sa pagitan ni 0. So, anong gagawin natin? Take note that the left side, okay, mapapansin natin, itong kalahating ito, okay, the area to the left of the mean, okay, or below the mean, is technically 0 0.5. Okay, so ang gagawin lang natin, by using this table, ibabawas natin yung area from 0 to 0, negative 0 0.75. Okay, so pag binawas natin itong portion na ito, makukuha na natin itong natitira. Okay, so by looking at table, 
So the area between 0 and negative 0 0.75 is 0 0.2734. So subtract lang natin yan sa kabuuan na 0 0.5, okay, na below the mean. And we now have 0 0.2266. And that's it. For the last example, let's say we have this problem. We want to find the area between 1.23 and 1.9. So by drawing the curve, okay, let's locate 1.23 and 1.9. So ito yung gusto natin makuha na area. Okay? So para makuha natin to using this table, kuhanin muna natin yung area from 0 to 1.9. Okay? And that is 0.713. Okay. Now, so, para matira ito or makuha natin itong area na to na nasa pagitan ni 1.23 and 1.9, isubtract lang natin yung area from 0 to 1.23. Okay, so matitira na lang ito. And then by looking at the table, the area from 0 to 1.23 is 0 0.3907. Okay, so by subtracting these two values, we now have the area of 0 0.0806 and that's it i hope that you learned something about the process of finding the areas under the standard normal distribution curve thank you for watching